Hey everyone, Richard here from uh, Calvin Wazoo. And I'm standing in line for car seat headrest. And this is the first time I've ever been to the Vic Theater where before the doors open, the line goes all the way around the corner. You can see it going underneath the L tracks. Um, behind me, it is still, people are still lining up. The doors haven't even opened yet. Uh, this is going to be a packed, but I suspect a really exciting show. And uh, don't see many people with uh, masks in terms of uh, furry or fetish masks. I thought that might happen, but uh, uh, I'm not seeing it tonight. But who knows what tomorrow night's going to be like. So anyway, see you in a moment. So yeah, that was... That was a line, and uh, but inside, uh, Vic is you know pretty intimate theater, but uh, man, the crowd was really young. Okay, <laughs> you know, like there's myself and a few other like oldsters, uh, very few though, um, and many of the uh, older people who were there. I wouldn't say all of them, but many of them were chaperones. They had young teenage kids that they were, you know, bringing to the show. Um, so the opening act, um, oh, what was it? Barty's Strange, I think was the name. Very psychedelic uh, band, not familiar at all with their music. And I uh, suspect that when I go tonight that there's going to be, you know, I'll, I'll catch a little more of it and become more familiar with it. Um, but then, wow, the, this crowd at this show um, was amazing. So, you know, take a look at, at uh, this uh, opening. This is what they opened with. This is a song from Nervous Young Man uh, called Crows.
you know, um, yeah. What if just for one night you turned into an animal? Oh my God. And you can see how Will Toledo has got that, that mask on and that whole like get up for this persona um, for the show. And he's, he's got it synced with the electronics and, and the lights and the eyes synced with the stage lighting really really wild stuff um and his vocals come through really well i always wondered how you know you know what how that must work on, on, on inside the mask um but then you know this crowd i mean look at this next clip because this is what the crowd was like during the entire show I mean, wow, everybody was singing with along with the songs. You know, the, it was just totally incredible. I haven't been to a concert where the crowd was that enthusiastic since uh, mo most recently it would have been R.E.M. when they were here in Chicago 
back in, I think it was 2007, um, maybe 2006. It was before Obama got elected. Um, and then the other time would have been for the police in Tucson in 1980 when they were doing the Ghost in the Machine tour. You know, and the police, you know, everybody was standing, no matter where you were in this arena where they performed, everybody was standing through the entire show. And everybody was standing also during the entire show at the United Center for REM, um, but they did sing along, uh, you know, word for weird, word, excuse me, uh, losing my religion to the point where, you know, Michael Stipe didn't sing. He, he let the audience sing the song and he kind of interjected once in a while to, you know, keep the audience on track with, with the musicians on stage. But during this car seat headrest show, the crowd was singing along with every song. They were just so totally into it. And, and we're talking, they played Beach Life and Death, which is this epic 16-minute song. And, you know, it's a story. It's not a song. I mean, the, the lyrics are telling this story. It's not verse, verse, chorus. And the audience is singing along word for word all the way through it. And they're doing this with all kinds of songs. So there you go. I mean, you could see it. You could see the crowds and, and hear the crowds. Enthusiasm um, it was just a, an amazing, amazing show. We'll see what tonight's going to be like. It seemed like a lot of the set list was from Making the Door Less Open. They played a lot of songs from that. And really, they sounded really great. Um, you know, when you listen to Madlow, the album, you know, it's a very highly produced album, but man, they really made it. Uh, they really put energy into it, that even more energy into the songs than are already there on the, on the LP, you know, for the live show. This was just um, really, really amazing live show. So yeah, I'm going to go see him again tonight. And, you know, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'll do another video unless the show is really, really, really different. Um, I may post a comment on this video explaining, you know, that perhaps it wasn't all that different, you know. Um, but I kind of feel like they're, you know, it is a tour for Madlow, but then they're putting in these other songs, uh, you know, from as early as Nervous Young Man. So... Um, you know, and they had songs, you know, from Twin Fantasy. They had songs from uh, Teens of uh, Denial. Um, the, uh, Maud Gone was just this wonderful song. Um, again, the crowd singing along. Uh, it was just, it was a wonderful experience. It really was. Hey, you know, if you've seen Car Seat Headrest before in a live show... Uh, leave a comment in the down under if you were there at the Vic last night or if you're going tonight, uh, you know, leave a comment in the uh, the down under. You know, if you see me, say hi, you know, um, um, I don't bite. So uh, and I hope you enjoyed this and always remember to pray for the people inside your head for they won't be there when you're dead.